I think it's just one of those things you're in the car, like on a road trip or something, you just have it on. Mm -hmm. Just to have noise so you don't have to talk to your wife. You know how when you're a kid and there's like a part of like culture at large that you can't really appreciate and then you get older and you kind of find something. I get it. Yeah. Yeah, when you're a kid, you're like, you know, like everything. You know, you're like, oh, Little River Band sucks dick. You know, Uh it's like, this sucks. You Where, who is Little River Band? There's, you know, just some fucking shitty uh-huh. 70s yeah, rock yeah. band. They do... Uh, like a Credence style. Lonely, Lonesome Loser is probably their most popular uh, I don't know. Yeah. But, you know, you get older and you're like, all right, I guess I can listen to this. Right? Yeah. But fucking Prairie Home Companion. Mm-hmm. Never. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like that. The older you get, the worse it gets. Did the show get taken down after you raped? Uh, probably. Or is it like, we still need this really, guy? The show created and hosted by Garrison Keillor that aired live from 1974 to 2016. That's so long. Yeah. That's so long. That's a fucking institution. Yeah. That's 40 years. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first one I find. We're at the Minnesota State Fair where we come for our annual look at cows. <laughs> I mean, it's just fucking. It's like it's worse than the parodies of. It. No, no. It, yeah, it, I mean, you're, right. you're, Enormous Holstein. The dog that's shitting and pissing <laughs> on the president. I think it's pretty good. Enormous Holsteins and Swiss cows lying yeah. down chewing. Fairy tale animals: ducks, chickens, geese, sheep, pigs. This is your only look at them all year. Mm-hmm. Goosey Lucy and Henny Paby and Babe and Lamb Chop all here. It's the home of the slingshot. You get strapped into a chair, and then you sit there for the five longest seconds of your life, and then the enormous bungee cord shoots you 200 feet into the stratosphere, and your stomach turns inside out. It attempts to simulate the effect of sitting on a love seat in the living room when your house blows up. Cue a bunch of dickless fucking 47-year-old <laughs> accountants laughing. Yeah. There are all sorts of octopus type rides in which you are strapped into your and you are spun and flung laterally and vertically, which simulates the effect of being in a van as it rolls over and over down a rocky slope. I mean, suck my dick. <laughs> I just I really it's just fucking complete garbage. I was brought up to not waste food because my ancestors came from countries with poor soil, so vegetables were sacred to them. My mother used to say, starving children in China would be happy to have that tomato. But here's a tomato I don't think the starving uh, children of China would be interested in at all. It's rotten. There are white things swimming in it. Pick it up. It sloshes. There's your sister bending over picking tomatoes. I wonder if you could hit her from here. Go ahead. Try. Well, that's a story. That's what I mean. I mean, it just sounds like like what, what would you sit down and write this? If it's it sounds like if so, someone at a bus stop was saying that, you'd be like, yeah, you you try to move and yeah, that's awful. Yeah, yeah, he looks disgusting. Yeah, I, I never even knew he go. looked like this. The big annual tuba banquet. <laughs> You've been to this before. It's deadly. <laughs> a room full of tuba players. Just <laughs> <laughs> this is what he looks like. Yeah, no, he looks terrible. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, I like my my story is is about the big bitch with the lake contest. The the frozen. that's pretty good. It's there's a lot going on there. There's a lot of things you could think about. Well, there's like a morality to it, right? Uh-huh. Because like everyone's too afraid to offend her, but not doesn't care enough mm-hmm. about her life. Yes. You know, that has more ambiguity than any of this guy's gay ass. Earlier, I did call it Mark Twain bullshit, and I tried to clarify immediately after that I do admire and respect Mark Twain, and I think Mark Twain holds up. My friend told me he's reading Huckleberry Finn right now. He said it's the funniest book he's ever read. That's too far. I'm reading Charlie Kaufman's new book, and it's fucking great. I just got it. It's so funny. Is it good? It's really good. He's a genius. Yeah. Yeah. He's, I mean, he's, it's funny for a guy who, like, he is kind of one note, I guess. Like, he, he does sort of make the same thing over and over again, but, um, Um, he's so funny that it's okay. At least I'm not a woman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At least my bot, well, body doesn't have a claw. <laughs> in Lake Wobegon, it was the fall mm-hmm. solstice. You know what that means? Any woman over the age of 33 was thrown into a giant meat grinder and turned into applesauce. Yeah. 
Well, all and the they, women without offspring. Yeah, every so. kind of woman in the world was there. <laughs> big women, slightly less big women, a different kind of big woman, <laughs> and, of course, flat-chested women that were also just sort of boxy. Annoying. Yeah, <laughs> annoying, flat-chested, boxy women. Oh, God. It was the, the Minnesota fair of all the different types of women. Mm-hmm. Pause, for, la- pause for polite NPR laughter. <laughs> There's people that have like have never actually authentically laughed in their life. They just listen to NPR. They're yeah. just fucking like libs that fucking listen to NPR. For some reason, the laughs on mm-hmm. Wait Wait Don't Tell Me are more offensive. Yeah, because it's Garrison Keillor is like, oh, this is whimsical, but he's not necessarily doing punchlines. Mm-hmm. But Wait Wait Don't Tell Me is like, we are killing right now, and yeah. it is just it is dog shit. Yeah. And it's it's all it's awful. I feel like that would be very funny is if every Garrison Keillor performance ended with a severely mentally disabled man with no clothes on coming out on stage and violently mm. caving his skull in with a ball mm. peen hammer. Yeah, <laughs> and and, the, and it like yeah. uh, and then you know and then Mark Twain comes out and he goes or you know Steinbeck or whatever and he's like, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, the violent retard. <laughs> Yes, they get a, a a village idiot from each town in Minnesota. Yeah, they're like this this yeah. week from well, it Augusta, was, yeah. Minnesota. It was a warm forty four degree May afternoon, mm-hmm. Lake Wobegon, and the townsfolk had gathered in the square to watch the annual torturing of the mentally disabled boy. <laughs> And he screamed and he cried and he wailed in his metal cage as they threw apple butter at him. (laughs) As they coated his penis in apple butter and let the squirrels have at it. (laughs) Well, the old apple butter on the retard's penis trick was once again a huge success. Mm -hmm. And the second the blood drained down his legs, they knew there would be four more weeks of winter. (laughs) 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 Oh, God. (laughs) Something had gone wrong that year, and the the hinges on the retard's cage came loose. Mm -hmm. And he he escaped, and instead of getting revenge on his direct captors, he raped an entire class of (laughs) kindergarten students. (laughs) Uh, just another day mm-hmm. on Lake Wobegon. Yeah, Garrison Helter Skeeler. <laughs> <laughs> He's just just a brutal, just satanic Garrison Keeler. That'd be cool. Just to go do those. Just stories about some quaint town, but mm-hmm. then there's like child doing, sacrifice. Yeah, and, doing sacrifices to Beelzebub. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. That, yeah. Did you see the Midsummer? I feel like if I was a, if I was like. A, a Gen Xer, I would go do that. That would be you would become a, a instead Satanist. of stand up comedy, I would just do Satanist Lake Wobegon <laughs> monologues. <laughs> and then, you know, people would be like, So what do you do? And I'd be like, Fucking nothing. And then the girls would be like, Cool. <laughs> <laughs> and then I would just I would get really just just real garbage pussy probably. Do you remember when the Church of Satan would like respond to Trump? No. And they'd be like you're an idiot. That's People would gay. be like, no. even the Church of Satan thinks he's an idiot. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's it's very gay. gay. 